Hello, my spooky babes. How are you? My name is Simon Ray, and you're watching Simon Ray Tarot, and I'm coming back with another pick card reading today. Today's pick a card reading, sure, on three. Um, today's pick a card reading is going to be what are people's first thoughts when they look at you? So I'm going to look at what their first thoughts are when they look at you. This is going to be a shorty. So I'm only going to pull three cards for each. We've got some moment to choose. So I'm about to go ahead and get started. <sighs> so for my pile number one, what are people's first thoughts when they look at you? So your first card out is depth. Your second car is giving, and your third car is compassion. So people's first thoughts when they first see you, first of all, you're very much notable, no, noticeable with this uh, death card being your, your first card out or with it being red. And it's like you can't really miss them, right? So your first, your first, People's first thought is, damn, who is that? Who is that person? You're probably someone who walks in that's speaking to other, everyone. It's like, hey, how are you? Or dress really loudly or really crazily. Like, you might work at an office, right? But you know how most people just wear, like, khakis or, like, you know, like, some type of chill outfit because you're in the office. Like, no, you have a full-blown outfit on. Like, you still look professional. You still look the part. But at the same time, you look like, um... You look, you look like you about to go out to brunch. You look, you about to go out to party somewhere. So you always look good. So people's first impression of you when they first see you is that you always look good. So this could be, I think for some of you guys, it's more, it's the mainly way you dress. But for some of you guys, it is your hair. Like some of you guys might have like some dark curly hair or like your hair might be dark, but it's like really rich in like color or something or really healthy. But something about your hair like is really healthy and really, uh, really beautiful, whether you're a male or a woman. Um, people notice that you make eye contact. They notice that you're confident. Um, with the giving car, I also feel like sometimes your confi confidence can come off of as arrogance. So, like, maybe when you talk, you sound, like, too sure of yourself. Like, let's say even if you're in, a, like, a, a meeting about a project that everyone wants to do and, like, kind of everyone else is kind of nervous about the project and stuff like that, it's like... Um, you, on the other hand, like, you walk in there very confidently with your head up high. And no matter, like, what you're talking about, and even if you don't really know what you're talking about, or, like, the people aren't sure, that you, like, whoever you're talking to isn't sure that you know about the topic that you're telling them about, the fact that you look confident enough, like, people tend to believe you. However, some people, like, some people just tend to believe you and want to, um, and want to follow you immediately. But then to others, to people who aren't so confident and have issues with, um, um, basically, 
how can I say this, have issues with allowing others to shine. Um, basically, haters and stuff, it can come off as arrogance. Like, your cockiness, your, um, well, I guess you are a little bit cocky, and that's okay. But your arrogance and you being so sure of yourself and speaking so highly of yourself and speaking so highly of whatever plan, uh, whatever plan you have or whatever suggestion that you're making, it comes off as arrogance. And people think, oh, that person is so full of themselves, like watching them speak and stuff like that. Like they're so confident and they're so grounded and stuff like that. But how do they even know that they really know what they're talking about? You get what I'm saying? So it comes off a little bit as arrogance. Then you have compassion. So what people, what people, what people think when they first look at you, they think, wow, like this person, because it doesn't have much to do with the actual like compassion what compassion actually means is more so like I feel like how like how this is like a man with a with a horse body and like some heels on that he got a random necktie but it don't look like he give a fuck about what people are thinking about him you get what I'm saying like he's not like oh well what are these called I forget what they call well no that's the that's the, that's the same thing it's off the Chronicles of Narnia I was thinking about the goat thing but I think they had these horse people in there too but whatever they're called uh, men of doors or whatever I think that's what they call it right um, he's, he's not thinking about, oh, the other minadors are going to laugh at me because I got this and this and all. His head is held up high. He looked like, yeah, I look like I'm the shit because I am the shit. And when people first look at you, I feel like you give off that bad bitch or that, um, or that alpha alpha male energy you get what i'm saying like you obviously don't care what people think people do think that you're a little bit weird they think that you're a little bit out there but at the same time it's kind of like you own it so overall how do people when people view how do people view you like when they look at you i feel as though people feel like you're confident people feel like you're sure of yourself but people some people do feel like you have a uh you're a little bit cocky or arrogant like not and it's like it's well deserved because you look good you smell good you sound good but it's just like some people, just, it just bothers some people because it's like humble yourself. You get what I'm saying? But you, you shouldn't have to humble yourself. But basically, you're a bright light. You attract a lot of attention. And people are really um, intrigued by that. So people think, so overall, if I had to choose a word for what people think when they look at you, I would choose leader, okay? But with that being said, that is your reading pile number one. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in getting a personal reading, that information is listed box below. If you're interested in my free reading giveaway, all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'm going to move on to my third pile. Okay, pile number, well, my second pile. Okay, pile number two. What do people think when they look at you? So... You have reliability, you have compliments, and you have I am a catch. So, so basically what I see here for you, pile number two, is what people look, what people look at you, they're wondering, they're starting to, they start to wonder about you. Like, they wonder about your life. Like, if they don't know you, they wonder, like, what you do, like, where you're from, um, how old you are, what your name is. If, mainly if you're single, though. So, I would say that you are um, fairly or fairly, if not really, really attractive because immediately people want to know who you belong to. So, when you walk into a party, it's like people want to know who you came with before they approach you because they're like, okay, did she come with a guy? Like, is, is she married? So people are looking for wedding rings. People are looking for, people are looking for wedding rings. People are looking for people walking behind you, the Cedric. So people want to know, people want to know who you came with. And if you're single and things like that, people want to know how long they're going to know you. People think about when people, the people see, they think about how long they're going to know you. They first think, well, before they even think about that, they think about, um, how they should approach you first, right? When is the right time to approach you? Especially if this is like in public. So they're thinking like, okay, if I'm in a grocery store and I see her, should I wait till she walk to her car? Should I just walk up to them? Like how would they react? So they think they're st they start thinking a lot. Like how should I approach this person? What should I say to this person? You know, and then it's like people start waking up these whole things like, okay, that maybe they're so hot. Maybe she's not single. She probably has kids. She's probably married. You know what I'm saying? Like people will really make up a whole 
story about you in, the, in their head based off you looking attractive. So they'll be like, oh, well, they're out of my league. They probably like this type of guy or they probably like this type of girl and stuff like that. So you might find that people stare for long amounts of times and it kind of make you uncomfortable because you'd be like, what the fuck is you staring at? Right. And you know, it's crazy. I have seen this TikTok and this lady was talking about um attractive people and they were saying how attractive people don't understand that they're attractive and that's why people be staring so hard because you see yourself all the time so you don't think that you're uh, that attractive or you you know you don't think that high of yourself but you're not seeing yourself for the first time that person is seeing is seeing you for the first time you get what i'm saying so they've never seen something like with your type of beauty whatever type of beauty that may have so she was explaining that's usually why people stare for such a long time because they haven't seen a beauty like you or, or I don't know what you what you would call a man a handsome like you in a long time. So that is so to keep that in mind, right? So next you have compliments. So immediately what do people start thinking about when they see you? They start thinking about like how nice your hair is, how, how nice your body is, how nice your, your eyes are, how, how nice your outfit is, how nice your shoes are, like how no, how big your butt is, like just everything. Like they start thinking about all the nice stuff about you. Like they look at you and they be thinking like, damn, that person's fine, that person's hot, that person's sexy, they got this, this and that, right? And then and then on the flip side of that, they start thinking about themselves. Like you make, you the type of motherfucker that make people insecure. You ever heard that saying like, um, Oh, I almost burned my little spider. You ever heard that saying where um, they say you're not a bad bitch until you're a bad bitch in a, in a room full of bad bitches? Or like for my ladies, my baddies, you ever like went to the club and maybe got in a section and then when you got in a section, like all the other girls started being like weird, like they was uncomfortable, like over in general, you just went somewhere and then everybody started being um, like the women, like if you're another woman and mainly, I don't know how men are because I've never experienced it like with men because I'm a female, so I, I wouldn't know. But like I I know for like as being a female, like you can really, like if you a certain, if you got a certain type of look, certain type of body. Um, you will make other females nervous when you come around because they're going to be thinking, oh, now I'm going to get less attention. Nobody's going to be worried about me. Nobody's going to be looking at me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what this is. This is feeling like um, you make people feel uncomfortable. So like, let's say you got a really nice body and people around you, they don't have such a, they don't have the greatest body. They're going to start thinking like, you know what? Um, I don't want to really be around her because she make me feel fat or she make me feel too skinny or she make me feel like that. Or, you know, he make me feel like a lame because I don't got designer on. He make me feel like a lame because I don't work out. Like you make people start um, reevaluating their their, uh, their insecurities. You, you know what I'm saying? Because to you, to them, you're perceived as perfect, even though, you know, you know, everybody got their flaws. So there's that. Then lastly, you have I am a cat. So what are people thoughts when they look at you? They look at you as something that cannot be caught. So I think a lot of you guys are single or at least appear, <laughs> appear to be single, more power to you. And they just they think that everybody in, in the, they think that everybody in the room, including them, want you. So most of them assess whether or not they're going to try to get you, whether it be like a female trying to get your attention or a male trying to buy you a drink or trying to talk to you because they're thinking like, should I talk to this person? Because if I talk to this person i know everybody else want to talk to this person i'm sure she knows that everybody wants to talk to her too so she might shoot me down so people might so people start thinking about how they can oppress you how they can catch you how they can get your attention how they can get you to want them you get what i'm saying so people start thinking about stuff like that when they see you they think about oh i want to get this person but how can i get this person right so yeah so overall basically how people feel when they look at you power number two you basically look like a catch like you basically find as shit sexy as shit handsome as shit and like people don't know how to act around you right you kind of make people insecure you make people who who, who are not really sexually attracted to you but just find you beautiful or find you um fine you make them really insecure around you because they feel like they're less than but for those who are sexually attracted to you or are romantically attracted to you if you will you have them thinking about how they can maintain how they can capture you and maintain you right um so yeah so overall you just like a, you look people think that you're a great catch when they see you or they think that you're very beautiful or very handsome but with that being said that is your reading pile number two i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video with that being said i want to move on to my next pile
Okay, power number three, let's see. How do people view you when they first see you? They keep trying to give me this motherfucking card, but I'm gonna take it though. So you have cleansing, you have tack, you have independence, and you have harmony. So how people view you when they first see you, um, you have the cleansing card. So for mo mostly for people who can see auras, like can see, see can see auras around you, I feel as though people see that you've done the work, right? So they see that you're high vibrational, right? They can see, so they see that people who can see your auras can see that you're high vibrational. And in some cases, people, <laughs> people could just see that you're, um, that you're um, also, okay, so this is high vibrational, but then also that you just look like a healthy person. Like, um, I'll say this, like when you're working out consistently and you're drinking your water and you're eating right, you definitely notice and taking your vitamins and stuff, you definitely notice a change in your skin. You notice a change in your hair. You notice a change in your nails. You notice a, you notice a change in everything. The reason why, I, and I'll tell you why I like to help y'all with yours. Like I know for a fact when I was a vegan, you know what I'm saying? When I was a vegan and I was working out and I was like eating healthy and drinking like a gallon of water a day, I was immaculate. Like I looked perfect you know what I'm saying? like to me as perfect as i could be right but then when i started you know doing high, high low vibrational things again i can kind of tell that my looks um kind of disintegrated from it so i'll say that so it's kind of like that because like yeah you look dapper you look clean you obviously look, you took a shower and stuff like that but it's more than that it's like it looks like you actually take care of yourself so that's what people view when they view when they see you then you have the tap card now with that, you have the tap card and it came out with the independence card. So a lot of you guys, they would say like, you know how people say you got the rest and bitch face or you look mean. You would be one of people. You would be a person that people think look mean or have a rest and bitch face. A lot of you guys might work in the corporate world. Or uh, so a lot of you guys might work in the corporate world or you might work somewhere where you have to be dressed up, somewhere you have to be dapper or whatever. Um, or it could just be how you how you dress. But you but it's given like, I don't know, like I don't know, I wanna say Corella DeVille, but like you get what I'm saying, like it's given Corella DeVille. You know what I'm saying? But like like you just so pris and premy, like you know what I'm saying? Like everything, every collar, every everything is like straight in there, like everything is straight on you, right? So it makes people kind of nervous around you. Like you get people, when people look at you, they get this nervous feeling because they start looking at themselves like, is my shirt straight? Are my teeth white? Is my hair done? Like, do I smell good? Like, you get what I'm saying? Because it's like you with the extra, it's like you basically like a supermodel. You get what I'm saying? Or like, you know, like you basically look like you take care of yourself. The upkeep is good and everything like that. But it's like, am I good enough to shine, to still shine next to this person that's obviously effortlessly shining? So people will be thinking about that. People will be thinking about that. So you're making them nervous and kind of second guessing stuff. It's not the same type of nervous as power number two. If you chose power number two, it's a different type of nervousness. It's a, it's like you make people feel like they need to be on point. You know what I'm saying? Like like okay, this person not come. Like this person not gonna play with me. So let's say like if you if you were to um. When somebody came in for a job and some of you guys are managers and you were the hiring manager, like you would make that person nervous in the interview because you look, your posture is so straight. You're so polished. You're so clean. You have a good vocabulary. You just look like a person who's a winner. You look like a person who's a achiever, right? So they uh, feel like they need to look that way too, right? Um, and then lastly, you have Harmony Card. So what do people think when they see you? They feel like you're somebody they need to know. Like you look like you're somebody important. Even if you're not, like, I'm not saying that, because no, really everyone is important. But I'm saying, like, even if you're not, like, a, like a, a, a CEO of a company or, a, or like, a, a contractor or a music, or an artist or some, or some sort of do anything, you just look like you do something. So you look like you're, like, a, like a, like a, a manager for a pop star. You look like you're a um, executive producer. You look like you own something like you look the part right so a lot of people might come up to you a lot and they're like oh what do you do like where you're from and you're like bitch what are you talking about i just came to the bar to get a drink right but people just flock to you because you look like somebody that they should know like yes you, know, so you look like somebody you look important if that's if that's the if that's a uh, a good word to use you look very much important so you look very much important so yeah so overall what I got, what I overall what I would say is, what do people, how do people view you? Pile number, um, 
pile number three i feel like people view you as someone who looks like a winner people view you as someone who looks like somebody important someone they need to know you look like a you look like an asset and not a liability that is the that's the main takeaway from here so with that being said that is your reading pile number three i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe to my channel hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video with that being said i'll see you guys in the next reading bye